Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. He's gonna be weird today and I'm just gonna tell you why. <laughs> For some reason, none of my cameras are working today. I do not know why I'll have to do the research, but, and I'm wiggling a little bit, it'll all calm down. Um, I'm having to do this through my phone, so there might be an echo and the movement of the camera will calm down in a second, but um, we apologize. I have no idea. I've turned everything on and nothing will work. So just the way things go sometimes. Let's um, make a card. So this is one of the cards that I made with our new stamp set um, called Road Trip. Let me show you that stamp set. Y'all, I can't even move on this desk. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna put these over here for now. You can hand me these when I'm ready. How about that? That sounds good. Okay, so this is the new stamp set. It's called Road Trip. I think it is super cute and great for your dad cards, right? Your Father's Day cards. And I'm going to use this truck, obviously, because I'm going to make this card and show y'all how I did that little piece. Because some of you guys are saying, hey, show us that. So I thought I would. So the first thing we want to do, should I leave that in the camera for y'all to see it? Because this camera gives me like a whole lot of space. Like more than I normally have. Isn't that weird? It's weird to me. <laughs> okay, Vin, you still going to have to communicate with me just because you ain't looking at me. Well, it's different. It's weird. You still I'm, going to go back to you <laughs> trying to. Be close to the phone. I'm not talking to myself. I'm sorry. It's all right. If I'll there's people better. watching, I can talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching the chat. He's behind me now. Well, come right here. Bring your computer right here. Can you do that? You won't have enough room. Babe, I can work in small, tiny spaces cluttered with lots of things. Mm -hmm. All good crafters can. Here, that'll be better. Then you won't be behind me and we can communicate. And you know what? Today you can even actually, like, be my surgical assistant. That's a little scary. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be coloring with some alcohol markers. And I don't know. Some of you guys will be real happy and some of you guys won't be, I promise, when I show you this. But anyway, just bear with us. So I'm going to stamp my little truck. This is just for coloring and this is just a scrap of some white cardstock. So pressing that down. And this is Memento. And lots of times you don't get a really, really dark, dark image with Memento. But I'm going to tell you something I've learned. Don't do like I do and keep these for like two years and think they're supposed to work the same because they won't. Like I never re-ink things. You know this about me, right? Well, yeah. Because a lot of times a re-inker costs as much as a new pad. And I usually am rough on my pads you know, anyway. No, I've noticed that. That's mm -hmm. kind of... Because you've been looking at them to bring them in and it's like... so We have one ink pad that actually it costs more for the re-inker. Yeah, I mean you could just buy the new pad and... Mm -hmm. and <laughs> So, away. so I don't re-ink very often because you guys ask me all the time about showing you how to re-ink, but I really don't. I re-ink my stays on because I don't use it very much and I never really ruin that pad. But by the time it's time for these to be re-inked, I've pretty much ruined a pad. That's just me. Everybody's not that way. You do you. Okay, look. So I'm going to alcohol color this truck, but I'm not going to be coloring my tow mechanism. And because it's a nice solid image, I'm going to use my VersaFine for it because VersaFine's a better ink for these bold images like this. So don't be scared to do that, right? Don't um, don't be afraid to mix your inks. There's no reason and I'm not going to mess this up, right? Okay, I also wanna point this out. Something we did with this stamp set that um, I showed this to Sylvia at, when she started designing stamp sets with me. And I was like, here's what I wanna show you. If you give them a tiny thin line, it's very hard to line up these pieces that go with the project. But if we give you that thicker line right there as the top of the truck, lining this up is so much easier. So I'm just going to line this guy up. I'm trying to look at my other one, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put it about like that. And by having that thicker line, you can kind of sink down into the line and you get a perfect connection. You see what I'm saying? Nice. If it was a thin line, it's so hard to get them to match perfectly. Um, Connie asked, can you buy blank ink pads? Mm, some products do it. Um, Who's them? Oxides do it. Oxide inks do it. I don't remember who else does it. Okay, do y'all want the red truck or you want a different color today? <laughs> Let me show you what, pa what papers we're using for the... Man, I put you over there and now I don't know what I've done with none of my stuff. What did I do with all of it? Is this it right here? Yeah, this is one piece of it. I think this is the other piece. Nope. I've lost my stuff. Is it this? No. Is it this? No. Well, babe, I'm glad you're next to me, but I've hidden all of my stuff from myself. This is it. It's not it. It's going to be it. 
It's going to be Some people it. Said blue truck. A blue truck sounds fun. Oh, let me show you the background. Oh, a yellow truck sounds fun too. This is the um, the sky I'm going to use, and this is the ground I'm going to use. So that might help you make a decision. All right, I'm going to show you something. You and them solid plaids. This is a solid road, and this is a I'll, this is a sky with clouds in it. Okay, I'll give you. You'll give clouds. me that. Okay. I still think that's a stretch. Brace yourself for this then. Ooh, an orange truck would be fun too. Okay, brace yourself, guys. I decided, I love, first off, I love my Nouveau Creative Markers. Y'all know this, right? My regular alcohol markers that come in a three-pack, they're super affordable. I love them. But we had a stint where it looked like it was going to be slowed down on us getting them. And we did have a little, a tough time for a while. Yeah, we still don't have them. We don't have them. We had a tough time getting them. I do know that there's some coming. There are some coming. It has been a while. It's like, been a while. it's been a struggle. Well, I was able to source these, okay? Now, these are the markers I used to use originally. I used these before the Nuvos ever came into being, and I love these. So here's what we're gonna do, and I don't want you to panic, and don't think you have to run out and buy new markers, because you don't, okay? We're gonna carry both lines, because I love that one as well, but, but I need something for whenever new people are watching my videos and see me alcohol markering, and they don't, or alcohol coloring, and they don't know how to get those markers, and I can't keep them, this way we'll have two lines as a backup, okay? Now these are more expensive, not terribly, because you get six markers here for eleven ninety nine versus three markers for five ninety nine. So I mean it's about the same. It right? works out that way. So anyway, I love my nouveaux. I am I am loyal to them, I promise. Because but I, I need six some. Times two? Don't what are you doing? Are you trying to prove the fact that I can't do math on live? No, six times two is twelve. So five ninety nine might as well be six, and six times two is twelve. So they're the same price. Okay, listen. Half of the audience just quit listening when you said time. <laughs> when you said the word times, half of us quit. So anyway, we have a whole bunch of colors, and in the after show, I will show them to you. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to color with today. I think we're going to use this pack. We're going to use the yellows, the yellows. So anyway, another thing I want to mention to you guys is this. I just feel like you're going to see a lot of new stuff come into the store because things are starting to kind of, I don't know if it's fair to say get harder to get, but maybe we just, we're going to diversify, not diversify out of crafting in any way. Oh, no. we're just going to not be so loyal to just one thing. Cause we have a hard, these smell so good. Sorry. I'm distracted. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay. So. I think I'm gonna use these two colors and see what we get. Oh, it's so funny to see these numbers again. I haven't used them in years. It's so funny. I love them. I always have loved them, but it's funny. Okay, so everybody understand that? I don't want anybody to think that I have lost my loyalty to Nuvo. I have not. Now, something about these I really like is they are um, non-rolling on your work service. They don't roll away. And you see that little gray line? That's your bullet nib, and this side is your chisel tip, okay? And here you will see, I'm gonna get it real close. Here you'll see that it has like the little diagram for the bullet. And down here it has the diagram for the chisel. Um, but just remember the gray is what you're gonna use most of the time. Okay, so here we go. Is this the lighter color? Yeah. Also, haven't used them in a long time, so I'm gonna check colors. Cause you know, just cause you think it's lighter, it's not. <laughs> Sometimes it's not, so. Uh, yeah, eh, eh. So I am curious as to why you chose to write on your. This is not my card. Okay. Because we're doing this. You're going to fussy cut Yeah, we're that, fussy or, cutting. Yeah, I'm going to color it in this and just see what we do. I don't like to color live. Do you know why? Well, because you don't want to mess up when I'm people not are a, watching. I'm not a good colorist. I'm just not. And like, I don't try to teach y'all how to color. It's not my thing. There are people out there that are incredible with coloring. Just Tam is always good at coloring. Tam still is good. She posts stuff all the time. It's beautiful, and she'll love these. She'll want to get these. She probably already has them. She might have them. I don't know, but she'll want to get these. Um, one difference with these is you get a, you get more colors to choose from. So if you've gotten really good with your Nuvos and your three colors, which again I'm not going away from. I still love them, but you might like the idea of having a little more color options, maybe. I don't know for you just to be rushing through there. I think you're doing a pretty good job. Well, they know. <laughs> so they know you're not? My critics know. 
Let's do it. We don't really, we're just coloring. We're just having a good old time. And the reason I'm being real picky around the edges because I'm going to fussy cut this with a bubble around it. Y'all know how I say a bubble cut? I'm going to bubble cut this. Bubble cut. That sounds like something country, don't it? Bubble cutting. It does. I like this orange, babe. I'd like an orange old pickup truck. I told them in my video that I am a car buff. Like, some people don't know that about me, but I am a car buff. And this stamp set, like, if you made a card and sent it to me out of this stamp set, I'd love it. Yeah. Because I love cars. I'm just that person. All right, I'm going to see what happens if I come in and kind of do a little bit of, I don't know why I try to do this. Kevin, this is not the same truck from last year's, uh, two years ago set. No. Um, I cannot believe I just drew a Memory lane? lane. Memory lane, yes. Yeah, not the same truck as that. This is a new one. And that truck is not two years ago. Do you know how old that truck is? It's probably four years ago. It's from the cottage because Rebecca drew that truck for us way wow, back when. way back. Yeah. Way back when. That truck goes in the other direction, doesn't it? But this truck is from a new stamp set that just came out very recently. Yeah, this is the tow truck. Let me show you. I'll show you the set. You want to show them where to go? This is it right here the set and this one gives you the farm back end and the tow back end and you get the front of the car on it i don't really know why i'm doing this it's making no difference i'm just going to color the whole thing i kind of like this color better anyway that other is a little peach somebody else that's a good colorist is shannon she colors that well is much more vibrant on camera. yeah i like this one better yeah this one's better I need to get I need to get to practice in my alcohol marker coloring again because I used to practice and try to do a really good job, but I'm just not good at it. I found that I'm a person that likes quick, easy crafting. Are you familiar with the Copic sketch? I am. We had a request from Debbie to get that in the store. Let's see. These are the cool grays. Do I want to use gray on that um tire in the middle? See how Would I color it down? I think so. That these colors. Coming a plethora. On the, no, I'm just kidding. on the end are fairly accurate because based on what I'm looking at, I'm gonna say no. Why not? Well, because you colored the truck with the first color, which to me looks very yellow. It doesn't look orange at all. What I suggest when you get something like this is you make yourself your own um, sample pack. sample pack. Yeah. Would you consider making nature stamps, flower stamps, kid stuff? I've got flowers and nature stuff. Um, we haven't ever done kitty, like, specifically to kids. Um, let's see. If you want to see all our stamp sets, the best thing to really do is probably go on my website and look under the collection called May May Stamps, and you can see them. We have a lot of ones. And you forget about what we've got, because I can't use them every single day, you know? I mean, I, you forget. Plus, if they're older, sometimes I don't go back to them right away. Y'all just want me to move on from this coloring. Okay, I'm going to move on. You should want me to because I am taking my time. That's for sure. Maybe I'm avoiding something. I missed part of that. This smells good. Yeah, that's what I was saying too, Connie. The color on the cap looks a little more yellow than it does orange. But... Still, that's why we said you might want to do your color palette kind hey, of deal. Hey, Marion, if you want something for graduation, check out um, Big Time Sayings. It's good for graduation, and it's good for other um, other things that you're congratulating people on and stuff like that, if that makes sense. I'm going to cut some of this bulk away so I can cut this guy out. Big Time Sayings. I love it. As a matter of fact, that's a very popular set, so it sells out a lot because it is really, really good um, for all kinds of things that you're just wanting to congratulate people on or celebrate. I think it says hug, celebrate, congrats. Um, it says all kinds of words like that. And that's the one I always use on my graduation cards. That's why I mentioned it. Shannon is on the ball. On the ball. I do have also, Marion, if you need a cap, a graduation cap, it's on Alton and Olivia. I love that set. Alton and Olivia has a um, the cap, and it has 
like the owls with the wise owl. I love that. It's so cute. So I'm gonna fussy cut and fussy cut. Some of y'all don't like to fussy cut. I love it. I absolutely love it. There's just something about it. I don't know what it is. I think I like using these little scissors and just playing with paper. I gotta stop looking at comments so I can get moving. <laughs> This way we're having to do it today. The comments are like really big on my screen because I'm having to use my phone. Normally, I can't see your comments very well because they're tiny on one side of the screen. But since my computer's not working right, I can see them like in my face. And it's funny. They're right here at me. Okay, we got a super chat <gasps> from Lori Austin. Thank you, so Lori. So, we have to do it like this. <sighs> the Oh, wait. Look how tan you are. Look at, put your hand in there. Look how tan you are compared to my white self. You're so funny. You're always so tan. I told, we were talking to his mom the other day. No, I was talking to Sam about this because she said the, the girls tan so easy. And I said, that's good. I said, they they take after the helm side because you just, it just, the sun just comes out and you get tan. Like your body just knows the sun's out. <laughs> I don't know. It does. It kills me. I'm just so pale. I just get burned. Okay. We're getting there. I'm just not hurrying. I just ain't hurrying. I've hurried all morning, and I ain't hurrying right now. And I know y'all don't mind, right? No, they don't mind. I have been hurrying and hurrying and hurrying this morning. And poor Taylor, I was supposed to do a different project in this video. And poor Taylor was rushing to get all that stuff online, and now I'm not even using it. She's going to be like, what are you doing? That's a cute truck. I want to color its window. We are having some Sorry. technical difficulties uh, Marion, so that's why you can't see our faces today because for whatever reason, none of our none of our cameras turned on this morning when we turned them on, so. I came in to turn them on and nothing happened. I think it's one of them raining and pouring things. <laughs> Ooh, I went dark. It'll be cute on that background though. One thing I want you to remember when you get these, they're new, which means they're juicy. So don't go, don't go heavy on the edges of your lines. You need to let that ink run to the line and don't try to force it. Cause if you do, don't color with a heavy hand, like tap the page and let that alcohol ink run into it. Cause if you get too heavy with it, it'll, it'll catch up with you. It'll smear everywhere. Okay. So here is this little guy. Now let me show you what I did. I wanted to show you how this works. So I took him, he's cute in orange. I like him in orange. Mm -hmm. Um, I took him and I did, I just did some, some figure some ciphering. Okay. So this little piece right here is an inch and a quarter by five and a quarter. Yeah. And this piece is four by five and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is glue this straight down to the page. We are going to have an after show Connie, but it's just going to be our hands again. Cause unless, I mean, they're not just going to miraculously come miraculously come on, although they could, I mean, God can do what he wants to do. Right. But we are going to do an after show. We're just going to have to do it like this. Okay. Then what I did was I put my truck where I wanted it, kind of close to this edge over here. I'm going to make myself a little, like, pencil guide because I want this to go about like this and like this. And on my first one, I liked how it kind of tore into the road, too. You don't have to do that. You could just tear Matter of fact, on this one, let's just tear the blue so you can see the difference because you might just like the blue and not the road being torn away, and I might like it, too. What I'm doing here, though, is I want to make sure I leave myself enough space here to glue down to my card. You see how I've got that space up there? And I want to make sure that I'm leaving enough space for my sentiment. And the and, sentiment... Go ahead. Angela wants to know, did you plug in the cameras? <laughs> yes, I did plug them in. That was the first thing I did. We set those over there somewhere. Um, here it is. I want to show you all a way you can test your sentiment. I mean, you all know how to do this. But, like, you can take your, your stamp set and just lay it. And so, like, I want this one to say, um, you're totally awesome, uh, totally amazing. So, I want to make sure that'll fit in that hole. And it does. I need to be a little generous with my tear. All right. So, now, where's Brenda? Because I'm fixing the tear card stop. Where's she at, right? She'd be happy. Okay. I'm going to control tear. Now, if you've ever heard me or Brenda talk about control tearing, this is where we're taking our finger and guiding the tear. You see how I'm staying close to my tear line? And I'm controlling the tear. I'm not just hoping that it'll happen. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I'm like telling it where I want it to go. Another thing, and I'm going to show you this on this scrap once I get it out of here. Another thing is you got to decide, you got to know which direction to do your tear. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. 
You can even use a ruler if you want. Let me show you this. I'm going to grab my ruler. And you can, like, I don't want it to be perfectly straight. But see, if I do it with my ruler, I can be a little more aggressive. Okay, now let me show you what I mean by knowing which way to go. Do you see how I got that white edge, which I want? Okay, let me erase the extra pencil mark. I might even need to go a little deeper with that. But I want that white edge. Here's what you need to, <laughs> Lisa said, don't do it. Don't do it if you walk away. Um, what you want to know is, the way you tear the paper decides where your white edge is, okay? So I'm tearing this paper up and I'm getting the white edge, okay? If I tear down, I don't get the white edge. Do you see it? Now you, you're like, it's the same thing, but no, it's really it's not. It's not the same, I can see the difference. It's really not, although I got these the same way. If I want the white edge, I gotta tear up. So this needs to be what I'm leaving behind. Right. Gotcha. If I want a clean edge, I tear down, and this is what I'm leaving behind. We need to wish Michaela a happy birthday. She asked for a shout out. Oh, from you? Well, no, just from us. <laughs> Everybody likes your shout. Do I need to move? You're right no. there. Well, I'm just coming into the camera. No, are you going to do a shout out? But no, I'm scared. I'm okay. <laughs> happy birthday, Michaela. Happy birthday, Michaela. Um. Okay, so I got that done, and now what I want to do is put my little truck in. Oh, I didn't go nearly as far on this one. I might need to go in a little deeper. Okay, the other thing I did was I took my wheel sizzles. It's still painful to watch the paper tear in your nails. <laughs> and then I'm going to snip into that little hook. I just did a little snip mark right there, okay? And that is going to, I actually tucked that little guy underneath because I thought it looked cute that it was actually tucked under. And I just glued him down, just like so. Did you pin your glue? Oh, wait, I didn't get him under there. There we go. Um, do him like that. And then I'm going to glue my little truck in place like so. That's cute, isn't it? I need to use it, then I'll put the pin in it. Speaking of pins, y'all, for the first time in ages, Stopper Toppers did not sell out yesterday. That's good. So if you've been wanting a Stopper Topper, this is your chance. They are still in stock. At least they were when this video went live. Shannon, let me know. But they, we have doodads, we had Stopper Toppers, and I think we even had the single charms left. Mine is a single charm. The one I'm using right here, this is a single charm. I have another one that's the the cross with all, but we took it into my room the other day for the stopper topper warning with Mama, which was something else. But maybe that's why they're left, because Mama helped me too. She scared everybody off. She scared off. everybody off. <laughs> all right, put my pen in my glue. Put my pen in my glue. Okay. Then what we going to do? What we going to do, Ben? Do you know? You're going to attach it to a card We're base. going to find our card base, which we couldn't find. All right, we're going to... Nope, we have some left. She just put the link. Um, so now I'm going to score this card base. Everything's been moved around. Do you see my bone folder? Yep, look. Can you lift that? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I'm going to score this at five and a half. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and flip this over while it's in here. Crease this down. And that'll help me get a pretty straight one. I, these card bases I'm using are not good, y'all. These are some card bases I had cut at a big box store ages ago. And they did not cut them very well. And I'm trying to use them up. So I'll be glad when we're through with these. All right. I need some foam. I need some Scotty. Maybe I'll do this first. Let's do some white pen. Right over here. I'm looking for the number 10. You'll see it. It'll say, you know how, where it says it. The number 10. The numero 10. You don't know, obviously. It's right here. Oh, uh, there. I'm just trying That's to see That's the souffle. It. Not the souffle. There it is. Not the souffle. Is that a 10? Good. Just 10 on the I like tap. this one. I like this one. Okay, let's do some stitch lines. I'm going to do more this time than I did before. I'm going to do some here, like the road. Like so. I love to do stitch lines. I think whenever you do a card and you have a lot of blank space like this one, I mean, I know this card is a road and a truck, but it can be very blank. Stitch lines just add something to it, and I'm going to continue it. Today is Pam. Fernandez's birthday and anniversary. Wow, Pam. Now, you know better than that. I bet everybody says to you. So, you get one present? Probably not. Probably. Just get one big one, one good one. 
I'm still claiming my presence, y'all. Because And Shannon said this, because of the virus, everybody should get to skip their birthday and have a redo. Um, Cause Shannon had a birthday during it. You had a birthday during it. I had a birthday during it. Josh had a birthday on the cusp of it. Um, your dad had a birthday during it. Like we all kind of missed our birthdays. And so, and like Mother's Day happened during it. So I'm still collecting my Mother's Day and my birthday presents. Addie had a birthday during Addie it. Addie had a birthday during it. Yep. That was, it was cute though. They did it online. They did like a live birthday for us to watch. And she was so cute. It was really cute. Um, now I'm going to go up this side. So yeah, my Mother's Day present is supposed to be patio furniture, right? That's what you said you wanted, yeah. Because I have been wanting, and so that was my Mother's Day and birthday present all rolled into one was patio furniture, which I still haven't gotten. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all know about the snake chairs. I told you about those. <laughs> ever There's since, still some things you need to keep to yourself. <laughs> ever since that has been hard for me to decide, ever since I realized, wait a minute, what you put outside is going to matter. And also something that's changed it is we had to get some trees trimmed. And one of them got really trimmed. <laughs> And now I'm thinking I might need to be careful what I put out there that'll get so much sun. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, just talking about stuff while I'm going. I'm going to put some um, glass lines on the glass. And you know I got to put dots everywhere. I'm going to do like a line and a dot, dot, and a dot, dot line. It's like Morse code. <laughs> I just realized it. Dot, dot, line. Dot, dot, line. Line, dot, dot. What did I just say, somebody? <laughs> Surely I said something, right? Let's do, no, there has to be dashes, right? Let's do a dash, dot, dot, instead of that. Okay, so there's a little bit of white on there. <laughs> Did I just say SOS? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's put some foam on here. I got this little piece left over from something earlier. And let's cut this guy. I'm gonna cut him down. I don't think I need two big O pieces. Oh, see, everybody had birthday. Not everybody. A lot of people had birthday. There's a lot of May birthdays. Dot, dot, line. <laughs> That's what I said. She said, you get out to what did I just say? She said, dot, dot, line. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Connie, what she's referring to is she saw a picture of a snake coiled <laughs> up inside of a tennis shoe that was left outside. But that wasn't the so thing. So then she decided that there was a good chance that if we put furniture outside that had storage compartments, that they would end up full of snakes. So then we couldn't have that anymore. Because the, the um, chairs I found that I liked had storage compartments. Like yes. every chair had, a, you lift the seat up and you could put the... Um, your cushions in the seat when you go inside. And y'all, I think we might actually do that because you always say, now look, I'm gonna buy these cushions, but we put them inside. You know what I'm saying? But we never do that. They just sit out there and they ruin because that's who we are. So I thought this way, surely you can stand up and put it into the box, right? But then I saw that picture of that snake inside that tennis shoe and I went, if I just put them little houses out there, they're just gonna live out there on the back porch. Y'all, my mother-in-law, I shouldn't talk about snakes because people don't like it, but my mother-in-law had one try to get in her house Tried to just walk in like he had an open invitation, didn't he? He did. I mean, if you call it walking. <laughs> walking Slithered his he way in. He tried to slither his way in the house. Granddad was like, uh, Betty, you're going to need to shut this door when you go outside. Because he said he was like pushing the door. She didn't shut the door all the way. He was not a very big snake. No. But she said he had his little face like, he said he had his little face like that on the door. Like trying to say, let me in, let me in. All right, let's stamp our sentiment, which I probably should have stamped before because I foamed this up, which means I may run into a little trouble. So if you do this card at home, make sure you stamp your sentiment first. And I'm going to put it right here. You are totally amazing. Oh, my Lord. One fell through their chimney. <laughs> that would be the worst thing in the world. We would have to move. We would have to move. We would have to leave. Remind me in the after show to tell you about the phantom noise. And you don't know how the phantom noise went with me in my car today. You don't even know that. So just wait till you hear that one, too. Again, this might be something <laughs> you want to keep to yourself before you convince everybody. Come on. You're a nut. Come on. Oh, she had a baby copperhead play dead. I'll stop talking about snakes. Y'all hate it. Play dead in her driveway. Ooh. 
that would be scary. All right, so on the inside of this card, I'm going to use a little sentiment that says, um, hope your day is fueled with all the things you enjoy. I think that's cute. The, what was that question about my calendar? Did you see it pop up? Are you still doing calendar updates? It, yes, but here's the problem. <laughs> I haven't been inspired for April and May because I just feel like they didn't exist and I'm struggling. And I'm like, what do I want to put on? I mean, you told me something last week and I forgot what it is. What was it? Do you remember? No. You told me something I should do. I can do pictures from Addie's little birthday because I can screenshot them. And, you know, I can always do, I did that little crooked, but that's all right. I can always do like pictures from things like that, but they're just... We sat at home. I mean, I could take pictures of me and Vince in the recliner and on the couch. <laughs> I could take pictures of our legs up. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, what Vivian said. Oh, old people just get the job done whatever they can get their hands That's on. That's it. They don't, they don't play. They don't I play. I do run around the house trying to find something to kill it with. And she used a bleach bottle that she was handy. She just grabbed a bleach bottle and beat the fire out of it. That's funny. All right, here's the two cards. I think they turn out, I think they're cute. I love the toe mechanism. And there's so many things you can do. Take a picture of a pretty day. Oh, I should take a picture of the tree. <laughs> Stubby. I could talk about that. I could, I don't really want to, I don't really want to put into memory the storm though but I mean I could show what's changed in our yard since the storm so much has changed yep. so there's that card so now you know how to make it it's real simple which one do you like best do you like where it tears the road away or do you like where it stops I think I like where it doesn't tear the road away what do either you think? way it's pretty dang cute it's cute but I think not tearing the road you know it tears the sky I think it's cuter that way I could be wrong what I really want to do is do one where it accordions but that's hard to do because of the bulk. See, some people like red. Um, some people like the other one. Um, I like the torn road better, see? The one that doesn't tear the road. See, everybody has a, I love, that's my favorite thing to point out to you guys. Because so many times you'll watch a video and it won't be your style, but then somebody else will just love it, you know? So, I like mm -hmm. the orange truck. I Screen mirroring stop. So we're okay. We're still live, but I know that kind of freaked you out just then. It did freak me out. My screen so mirror, good. my screen mirroring went away, so I lost my monitor. But Vince is sitting next to me, so I can see his. All right, let's go to the crafter after show where we can talk about whatever we want. And I'm going. The cameras have not come back. I've had them loaded up the whole time we've been sitting here. They hadn't come back, so I'm just gonna stop this one, start another one. Oh, I hope this one lets me stop it. You know, it's been doing that lately. Let's just try. We're gonna try to stop this one. And we'll see y'all at the Crafter After Show in just a minute. Bye.